This is a good day for the United States, certainly a good day for the men and women who serve so proudly in our intelligence services that work tirelessly to keep America safe. Uh, this is a good day to bring the fiscal year 2012 intelligence authorization bill to the floor today. This will be our second intelligence authorization bill since uh, January of this year when I became chairman and my ranking member took his position as well uh, for the House Intelligence Committee. And it will be the 29th bill in our committee's history. This bill is a vital tool for congressional oversight of the intelligence community's classified activities and is critical to ensuring that our intelligence agencies have the resources and authorities they need to do their important work. Passing an annual intelligence authorization bill is vital to keeping the laws governing our intelligence operations up to date. The fiscal year 12 bill sustains our current intelligence capabilities and provides for the development of future capabilities, all while achieving significant savings. The U.S. intelligence community plays a critical role in the war on terrorism and securing the country from many threats that we face today. Effective and aggressive congressional oversight is essential to ensuring continued success in the intelligence community. The Intelligence Authorization Bill funds U.S. intelligence activities spanning 17 separate agencies. This funding totaled roughly $80 billion in fiscal year 2010. The current challenging fiscal environment demands the accountability and financial oversight of our classified intelligence programs that can only come with an intelligence authorization bill. The bill's comprehensive classified annex provides detailed guidance on intelligence spending, including adjustments to costly programs. This bill funds the requirements of the men and women of the intelligence community, both military and civilian, many of whom directly support the war zones, are engaged in other dangerous operations to keep America and Americans safe. It provides oversight and authorization for critical intelligence activities, including the global counterterrorism operations, such as the one that took out Osama bin Laden cyber defense by the National Security Agency, countering the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction, global monitoring of foreign militaries and weapons tests, research and development of new technology to maintain our intelligence agency's te technological edge, including work on code breaking and spy satellites. This uh, has been a strategy for a tough fiscal climate. After passage of the Budget Control Act, the committee revamped the bill uh, it reported out of committee back in May to double its budget savings. As a result, the bill is significantly below the President's budget request for fiscal year 2012 and further still below the levels authorized and appropriated in fiscal year 2011. These savings, and this is important, Mr. Speaker, were achieved without impacting the intelligence community's important mission as we did in the 1990s. The bottom line is that this bipartisan bill preserves and advances national security and is also fiscally responsible. The agency, excuse me, the secrecy that is necessary part of our country's intelligence work requires the congressional intelligence committees conduct strong and effective oversight on behalf of the American people. That strong and effective oversight is impossible, however, without an annual intelligence authorization bill. And I want to thank both the staffs for the Republicans and the Democrats uh, and the members from both uh, Republicans and Democrats on this committee to coming together in a bipartisan way on the important issue of national security. Uh, and thank my friend Dutch Rupersberger, the ranking member, for his leadership in getting us not to one, but to two authorization bills within just 10 months. And that's no small accomplishment, as you may know, Mr. Speaker. And with that, I would uh, uh, reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman reserves. Gentleman from Maryland, Mr. Rupersberger. Yes, Mr. Mr. Speaker, I yield uh, myself as much time as I may consume. Gentleman's recognized. I rise today in favor of the Intelligence Authorization Act of FY 2012. When Chairman Rogers and I took over leadership of the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence, we made a commitment to work together to ensure the intelligence community has the authorities it needs to effectively protect America. This intelligence authorization bill achieves this purpose. It gives our intelligence professionals critical resources, capabilities, and authorities. We passed FY11 earlier this year, and now we can see the finish line for FY12. For five years, there, was, where there were no intelligence bills. There was a gap in oversight. When this bill is signed into law, it will be the third time in three years that the Intelligence Committee has passed an Intel Authorization Act. 
Now, I strongly believe that passing the authorization bill is critical to national security. The Intelligence Committee wants to strengthen the intelligence community and give them the tools they need. However, it is also our job to conduct thorough, effective oversight and provide budgetary direction. This bill does that. This bill makes smart choices. It trims and eliminates duplicative efforts wherever possible. We made careful decisions and were mindful to protect the current and future capabilities that protect our nation. This bill aligns our resources with our current threats and makes important investments in space, satellites, and cyber. This bill is even more important today with the 10th anniversary of 9-11 fresh in our minds. When it comes to terrorism, Osama bin Laden may be gone, but radical extremists still have the United States as a target. Intelligence is clearly the best defense against terrorism, and this bill makes our defense even stronger. This act is bipartisan and bicameral. The members of our Intelligence Committee worked not as Democrats or Republicans or as the House or Senate, but as Americans protecting our country. This bill is proof that Congress can work together to do good things. I fully support this bill and urge my colleagues to do the same. Thank you, and I also want to acknowledge the leadership of Chairman Rogers uh, for helping put this bill together. I reserve the balance of my time.